Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us again on another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I am your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Dan Lefebvre with me. Dan is a seven-figure, high-performance business coach and mindset engineer. He helps online entrepreneurs and digital agency owners scale to seven figures and more and enjoy a life worth living. He's a number one best-selling author of Living the Life of Your Dreams, How to Stop Working Insane Hours and Start Living an Awesome Life. Dan Lefebvre, welcome to the podcast. Good to be here. Thanks for having me on your show. Thank you. Let's just dive right in here, uh, Dan. Question number one, what brought you into coaching? Well, I was going up the corporate ladder uh, and, and not even trying, actually, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> but uh, I, was, I was moving up the corporate ladder and that was after I started a business with, with my brother and built it to seven figures, but I ended up going into corporate and consulting, but then I was going up the corporate ladder and I hit a point where I was feeling like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And I actually had 36 weeks of parental leave to think about that, <laughs> which was pretty cool. <laughs> not many people get that, but I, I, I took it. And anyway, I was doing some soul searching and I ended up in Salt Lake City. I ended up meeting up with uh, Dave Blanchard, who's the CEO of Augmentino Corporation, if you ever read his book or his work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I ended up at his house and I, I mean, it was totally serendipitous. I, I mean, I asked him for, to, to meet for tea or coffee. <laughs> he mm-hmm. said, when do you fly out? And I said, on a Sunday morning, he says, come and stay at my house. And oh, wow. I did. Yeah. And that, but, the, you know, he showed us a really, it was a really inspirational movie. We watched in his theater and, and then he, at the end of the evening, I said, show me where you do your work. And he showed me his office and so on. And then we talked for a little bit and he said, you know, Dan, I think you'd make a great coach. And when I flew home, I connected with a friend. She connected me with Bob Proctor. I bought all of his programs. I, I just needed to learn and do something. I didn't want to be, I, I basically got kicked out of corporate. First time got ever getting fired too. I moved to another company, got fired. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but here's what happened. My friend said, here's all Bob stuff. I said, sure, I'll buy it. I you know, spent about 10 grand or whatever, bought it, started yeah. learning. Next thing she said, well, why don't you talk to his team about coaching? And I was having a conversation with his sales team and, and they said, let's get Bob on the phone. And I said, all right, I don't know who Bob Proctor is. So when I, that evening got on the phone, he said a few things to me. And I think it was just, a, it was just everything just stacked up. And uh-huh. at that point, he was like, you can be a coach, you can do this, you can transform. And I'd been studying Wayne Dyer way back when, like 20, 30 years ago. And, you know, so all this kind of came together. And I realized, yeah, you know what, I need to go out and teach and learn and teach and do what I do best. And and I, I said yes to him. And uh, so I started getting certified with him and met with him. We met at his house and learned uh, what we could in the few hours that we had. And uh, from then, I just kept building my coaching business, and co-authored a book and, and did all sorts of great things. Sounds to me like the big kind of takeaway from that is you spent time and money investing in yourself. Definitely. And, <laughs> and I, I've, you know, I, I stopped calculating, but I'm you know, two, three hundred thousand dollars into, you know, into investing in myself, and and I don't stop. I still do, but uh, you know, it's just a question of what's valuable and what's going to produce results, and who can you attach yourself to or affiliate with that is doing great things and can can impact your your business or get you in front of more people. So you know, I paid twenty five thousand dollars for some masterminds, and they were. Phenomenal. The, the lessons I learned, the friendships I've made were amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, Dan, question number two. What are you doing now in your business that is unique? Well, it's something that we coined a three month year system. And it's not typical because it involves life coaching and business coaching. Mm-hmm. I don't know anybody who's doing this out there, actually. So, so Natalie is my wife, and she does the life coaching aspect. She's been certified or is certified in something called rapid transformational therapy, and mm-hmm. so she does the life and the, the the personal and the family, the relationships. She works on that, the historical narratives, and then I work on the business, the structure, the focus, the systems, the steps, uh, you know, the, the the mindset, the practices. And, and also accountability. Accountability is huge in our system because today, if you give like 3% of people finish courses, Tony Robbins spent 
that, 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 that data out. And so, you know, 3% of people are finishing courses. So like, why would I even sell a course? I just build them and give them away as part of my system. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't want anybody going out in the world and saying, yeah, I got this guy's course and I went through a third of it and, and you know, it was okay. You know, sure. I'd rather people say, man, I came in, I was working 16 hours a day. Now I'm working three and I'm bored. And, and uh -huh. those, that's a true uh, case, right? And so yeah. that's, that's valuable. That's going to live on in somebody. So, so our system does that. It's all about accountability. It's based on a, at the 12 week year system. So we have a complete model for that. We track performance, we look for breakdowns, we know what to fix. And, and so anyway, it's, it's unique. It's life and business coaching combined, two-on-one coaching. And uh, you know, uh, tell me if you can find somebody else out there who's doing it because I haven't found anybody yet. Beauty. I love it. I love it. Question number three, how do you typically find your best clients? Well, I'm in masterminds. So those are some great resources there because, uh, and especially joint venture masterminds. So we can uh, partner up with other people and they will promote us. And so I'm in a couple of those and they're very, uh, very aggressive and, and very substantial in terms of uh, clients coming in. Uh, but we've also shifted over to YouTube marketing because YouTube is such a huge platform. And uh, so we're now working on that to get clients, but it's been, you know, just through, through channels like LinkedIn, uh, not necessarily Facebook, but LinkedIn, the business channels and communications and contact with people that I've masterminded with or purchased their masterminds. And, you know, those, those are the kind of people, it's just, it's a small community when you start really looking at it. We all kind of know each other, especially mm -hmm. online entrepreneurs that are in the transformational business. Um, yep. So it's very small. Um, but, you know, if you want to climb the ladder and you want to, you know, partner with people like Evan, uh, Evan Pagan or... Mm -hmm. I don't know, Lisa Sasevich, uh, Jeff Walker, those people, then you have to, you have to build up to that, right? So you start off with yeah. people who can help you get to those higher levels and then you start partnering with them and then your business blows up. Good stuff, good stuff. Question number four, how many hours per week would you say that you spend on your business? No, I don't really keep track of it, but I'd have to say maybe about 30 hours or so, you know, like, okay. I mean, I'm not, I, I have, I have structures to my day. So I just follow those structures. As long as I do those things, I'm, I'm done. I don't have to, you know, sit there and wonder, you know, look around social networks and wonder what to do. I just yeah. do the things that I specify that I'm going to do, check them off. And if I feel like doing something else, I do that. Stuff. So uh, question number five, do you have a team or are you doing all of this solo? And if you don't have a team, have you thought about putting one together? No, I do have a team. I have you know, technical experts and people that are marketing those aspects. I can do them. I don't yep. enjoy them and I'm not good at them. So I hand them off. <laughs> smart, smart business right there. Good stuff. Question number six, what have you done to grow your business in the past 12 months? Like I said, we've been shifting over to doing YouTube ads. So mm -hmm. that's been more of a focus. One. Yeah, that's that's the biggest one. Getting those YouTube ads tuned in and working and, and you know, cold traffic, right? So, and yep. also some partnerships. So we've been working on partnerships and YouTube ads. So both those things combined have been helping our business to get more attention and grow. I love that. That's a great answer. Question number seven, what is your strategy for gr continuing to grow your practice in the next 12 months? Well, again, it's it's YouTube ads. It's going to be the yep. focus, the mastermind and the, the joint venture mastermind I'm in. You know, it's probably about three or four months old, but mm -hmm. I'm making some friendships there and some partnerships. But also because of one of them, I've established a system for for joint venturing with others. So it's, a, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's you know, a three-step system. Basically, as long as they're willing to promote, there's a two, two email sequence. It's just a one-page document. That's it. All they have to do mm -hmm. is follow the steps there, send it out. Clients come through, they convert, they get paid. That's as simple as it gets. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Question number eight. What is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I, I think it's, again, it's, you know, I think it's every entrepreneur getting out of your own way. You know, like yep. sometimes you think you can do things better or you're not, you know, not so confident in people, but, you know, I found systems and ways to, to work that out and, and, and just test things out. But, but I think it's still, it still lingers. You know, there's times when I look at what people are doing and if, you know, like the other day I was going to have a conversation with somebody about managing YouTube ads and mm -hmm. they showed up five minutes late 
And then they expected me to have a second call. And I said, well, no, there's a standard. My standards are you show up on time, especially if I'm the client, potential yeah. client, you know? And so that was it, you know, cut off. But, totally. you know, so it's just a question of finding the right people and, and, and having standards that they need to live by as a, as a you know, as a, a service provider for me. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I like that. All good answers. Question number nine, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would that be? I think it would be just fail faster. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I could have failed faster, but I think just go out do things, test, try, fail faster, you know, because I think you just, you know, it's just like anything like riding a bike, you know, you might fall down a dozen times and, and you yeah. might still fall even after, and, you know, and, and you still get back on. Right. But the thing is go out and test things, try things, associate with people and, and just make mistakes. And the sooner you make mistakes, then you learn from them. And then you have contrasting experiences. Most people don't realize that's the, the magic elixir in life. If you just do things faster, learn from it, say, what do I don't like that? What do I like? And then you start facing forward and going towards that. So that's what yeah. I would do. Yeah, I've got a note in one of my notebooks that's, I can't remember exactly what it is off the top of my head, but it's something along the lines of imperfect action beats, you know, striving for, for, for perfection every time because you're just going to, you're going to be able to get stuff out there. Like you said, fail fast and, and learn from those failures. Good stuff. Absolutely. Question number 10, where can people connect with you online? And, and here I want to, uh, to add as well, if you have anything that you would like to any offers for our audience, I would encourage you to, to let us know about those as well. Well, I talked about it earlier, this three month inner, inner circle that we have uh, three month year inner circle and the system that we created for it you can actually get that. And, you know, we put it together. It's a plug and play Google sheet. Don't be afraid of it. You know, there's a video in there that tells you all the steps and how to do it. There's actually uh, five steps and the five steps are documented, but they can get it at lefavecoaching.com forward slash free focus. And Lefave is L-E-F-A-V-E coaching.com forward slash free focus. And again, it's a system that I've already been using with my clients. They're blown away by it because they Get, they get time back, <laughs> they get more freedom. And it's not just business. It's business, health and well-being, and relationships. Those are the three pillars in life. If you don't think they are, go ahead and work on your business 100% of the time and find out how your relationships and your health go down. <laughs> and once your health goes down, you're done. Relationships, you can deal with that, but health, no. So anyway, this is a system for managing all those. And it helps you tune into more health and well-being and relationships, because if you don't, focus on those a little bit, even while you're building your business, then things are going to crash. You need, you need a foundation and, that, and those, those are the foundational pieces. The business will supply you with the funding that's going to provide you with the lifestyle, the freedom, the fun, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you want, but you can't ignore the other aspects. And ultimately when we die, I mean, what are we left with? Relationships, right? That's why yeah. you know, elderly people look back on the relationships and wonder, should I have done something different or should I have been better? Or should I have been nicer, uh, kinder? Should I have paid more attention? You know, those are the kinds of things that we regret. And uh, this system helps you avoid that. So yeah. yeah, no one's ever, no one's ever been lying on their deathbed thinking to themselves, man, I really should have spent more time at the office. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're, they're in hospice. They've actually interviewed people. And the number one regret is that they didn't risk more and do more for themselves and, and for their for their loved ones. You know, and so so this system is all about removing distraction. It's a distraction removal machine. It's a procrastination killer. And that's what we need today, because if we could just narrow our focus, then we can get what we want, like a laser beam that's narrow. Right. And so we just need to really get focused, build and it has accountability built in. You'll have to find a partner, but if you find a partner and you work the system, you know what? Humi humili humiliation is really high. <laughs> Second from death, fear of death, right? It's really, really high. So people do not show up without having done what they said they were going to do. So, you know, it's a lie detector. They have to, they have to own up to it. So anyway, amazing system proven. It's, it's taken, you know, take, you know, we took it from the book, the 12 week year, built it on that that principle, those principles and those core focuses, but it is amazing. It has a, you know, affirmations built in, all sorts of mindset and uh, tools built in. So you, you basically can't fail if you, if you use it properly. Perfect. And that URL again is lefave, L-E-F-A-V-E -E, coaching.com. Dan Lefave, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Coaches. I really appreciate having you here. Yeah. Thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate it. Thank you to our audience for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time.